<laughs> it's mad in tea. Is that it? That's it. Time!
then. I got. Well, I looked it. That's a right donkey, isn't it? Right, so uh, this was the only time I went down practicing for the uh, Winter League final, which was split between Decoy Lakes and March. I was picked um, for the Decoy um, Lakes. Five of us on Decoy Lakes practicing. That was myself, Andy Geldart, James Dent, Andy Powers and Frankie Giaconelli. Um, and I fished decoy twice prior, um, once in the UK Champs last year um, and in the Maven Match this last year as well. It's a fantastic venue. Um, it's been a bit kind to me, to be honest with you. I've fished it uh, obviously twice prior to this practice match and I've won the late both times, um, but that was summertime. Um, and on this particular match, I drew Cedar 22 which is a brilliant peg, middle of the lake, um, absolutely bang on, on on this particular lake, but not forgetting, there's been loads of matches recently, um, so the lakes have had some hammer, uh, Andy Geldart drew my peg, this was on the Sunday, Andy Geldart drew my peg on the Saturday, and had £146, and when, he's, you know, when I told him where I'd drawn, where I'd drawn um, he said, oh, he's absolutely bang on there, and he caught a lot of carp. Um, anyway, he told me there was a bit of a bomb hole to my left at, at 13 metres, 14 metres to my left, uh, angle between like 10 and 11 o'clock kind of thing to my left. And I found the bomb hole, and I also found that there were a lot of fish there. So my main plan was to kind of like plunder that area. Um, obviously, with it being bank for bank, a really cold day, it was just quite obvious what was going to happen, that the fish were going to shoal up in the middle of the lake um, so that was my plan and I started short I, I, I don't know, 10 minutes short not a bite I've then gone long dobbing with corn fishing maybe 10 inches off the bottom um, and in 40 minutes I've only had one foul up fish I was so reluctant to feed I've had a foul up carp in the tail of about eight pound and that was the only bite I've had um, I've then proceeded to kinder pot some corn, very small, you know, like maybe three or four grains, fish a single grain of corn on the hook and fish on the deck and had no bites whatsoever. Um, so just out of curiosity, I wanted to see where the fish were. I knew they were in that area within maybe a two metre radius. So I've chucked the bomb, literally bang on where I've been fishing on the pole, <laughs> excuse me, and I was getting absolutely lined to death. Um, it was just basically a big pocket of barbel um, and I've had this before in other venues, I've had it on the strip at Lindo where I've been on a peg, I did it in a feature where if I didn't chuck my bomb in, a, in, in the right spot I wouldn't get a bite but if I did I'd catch barbel. Um, they herd up really tight together and this was the case on this day and they're, they're not feeding, they're just you know obviously just just for safety and shelter kind of thing, they're just herding up in a really tight ball. Um, and it's just a coincidence if once one takes your hook bait. Well, anyway, the bomb was the best approach, and I fished bomb and corn. Um, 
and I've caught maybe 30 barbel. Um, I've lost the odd barbel because obviously I'll foul looking the odd fish. And I've ended up with 80 pound because, you know, some of the barbel are quite big, you think, but when it comes to weighing them in, they, you know, they, there's, there's not a lot of weight to them in theory. Um, so I've had a great day's fishing. Um, I've pe kept picking up a pole, trying to catch on the pole. Uh, just no bites whatsoever. So I've just stuck on the bomb all day. Um, as I said, I've ended up with eighty pound, and that's won the lake. Um, and generally, looking around the lake, you could tell it wasn't fishing the same as what it was the day before. There were very few carp getting caught. Tom Scully was second on the lake with seventy pound. Um, but on the day, the lake behind me, uh, which was Oaks, I think, uh, the match was won with two hundred pound. I think. Oh, I think £148 was fourth on that particular lake alone. So, um, you could, you know, whole complex fished really well in theory. There was a great turnout. I think there were 70, no, no, there were 95 in it. Um, and you needed £138 to get in the top eight. So, that shows how good it was. So, um, I learned a bit, but obviously I was on some fish. So, uh, Obviously, the next uh, the next next visit down there is next week for the um, winter league final. So see what happens.